What is the difference between Mario and Luigi? I mean, at first it started, one was red and one was green and that was it, but over the years they've evolved, they've changed as, as characters and they ha even have their own foils like Wario and Waluigi, who makes no sense at all. But for an upcoming Nintendo game, Luigi's Mansion at Dark Moon, they've described that there are some very key differences between the two. Yoshihito Ikibara, the supervisor for the game, is saying that Luigi can express emotions that Mario can't. He's emotional and he has a heart. So it's more than this, okay? It does look like a uh, guy with red shirt and guy with green overalls. No, the, the one on the right clearly is more emotional, has yeah. a deeper soul, I think. Mm, yeah, so in the, in the beginning it was like that, but over the time they've developed Luigi into his own character, right? Sure, do, so, I mean, do we have more pictures? Yes, we do. Good, let's see. Can we look at them? Yes. No, that's the same picture. So here's Mario through the ages. Uh-huh. Slightly less pixelated over time. Only slightly. Only slightly, until 1996. Can we go to Luigi? <laughs> but look at these expressions <laughs> Luigi has. The vacuum cleaner is out of control. He's getting a high five or something and <laughs> fixing his hat. He has so many emotions, according to Nintendo. I think, uh, I'm sorry, but I think you skipped the one that was the biggest change. Which is the biggest change? It is Super Mario Brothers 2. Yeah. Because that's when they clearly looked like different sprites. Mm -hmm. Luigi had a completely different jump. He would jump he in jumped the a air bit, and yeah. like wiggle his feet. I mean, so that's, that's like indicative of his entire character arc after that, I think. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, what they're saying is Luigi is more vulnerable. He's more scared of failure, and he can express those emotions better. He's also slightly taller and thinner, eh? Different mustache, too. Yeah, Just a so little that's bit. a lot. Um, I don't know, when did you start noticing the differences between the two? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to backtrack from the first Luigi's Mansion, mm -hmm. where he's clearly like a bumbling, scared, Aww. fraidy cat. That, I mean, that was his game, that was a point, and it's a great game. Yeah. So I think it was the first one for the GameCube, right? That was the launch title? I think so. Yeah, launch title for the GameCube. Um, before that, I'm trying to remember if he had any kind of like scaredy cat yell from the first Super Smash Brothers. A little Brothers. bit, yeah, I think so. And then, I mean, he was pretty much the same as, as Mario in Mario Brothers 3. Well, I wanted to think about, does Mario have any really great defining characteristics? No, he's, he's just a very slight, much right? an everyman. So I was slight. thinking, put yourself in him. When you play Gross. Mario Kart, who is the character you pick? Uh, I always go for the light characters, so usually a Toad. I always or a Koopa. pick Toad. Yeah. But does anyone really pick Mario? I had Think a about that it. Was pretty good with Mario. But no, like, your friend is boring. Yeah. So, I was thinking how these blank slate characters are never anyone's favorite character. Who's your favorite Harry Potter character? Let's see. I'm not going to help this. It's this not argument. Harry Potter, is I it? I like Harry Potter. What is yeah. it? Because of the glasses. Uh, if glasses are probably part of it. Well, most people's favorite character in Harry Potter is not Harry Potter. It's some peripheral character. And most people's favorite Mario character is not Mario. So maybe making Luigi a huge Freddy cat was a good move because it gave him some defining characteristics. Yes. And something for someone to latch on to. I, I cannot even describe Mario's personality if you asked me. Like, it's just like he's a guy, he wants to save the princess, uh, he's kind of short, you know. He's a plumber, Italian. Yeah, but Luigi's got that going on too. So, Luigi, is he a better character than Mario? I say yes. I'll say yes, sure. Yeah, Fine. and do we have an artist's rendering of, of what Mario and Luigi could look like in the future? Aw oh, yeah, Grand Theft Auto, Mario and Luigi. This is uh, not real at all, it's a fan art. Mario looks angry. See, there they are in the movie. Can you tell the difference between them there? Yeah, one of them is fucking John Leguizamo. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everyone in this office have a problem with John Leguizamo? I don't know, I don't have a real good reason. Just everyone friggin' hates him. You should talk to Brett. I should talk to Brett, yeah. Okay, so Mario's a success because he's bland? I don't know, let me know who you think is the best Mario character in the comments, and I'm betting it's not Mario.